It's me. Let me in. Thank you. I know, I know, I know. It's been years since I've <laughs> climbed in through your window. But I really needed to talk to you. No, yeah, everything's okay. I just... Can I sit? Thanks. I was laying in my bed and I was trying to fall asleep and all of a sudden I just couldn't stop thinking of you. And I know that's like weird, but like I just kept remembering all of those moments as kids. You coming over knocking on my door, asking my mom if I could play. Us racing home on our bikes because we knew the streetlights were about to come on and we couldn't miss our curfew. <laughs> Us eating popsicles and in my driveway and drinking Izzy's. And then I just realized, you know, we got to high school and it all just stopped. The magic that we had was gone. And yeah, I know we were kids and it's such a kid thing to have all that magic and, you know, those beautiful imaginations that make everything so much cooler than it is. But I just wish things were different between us. I know this is coming out of nowhere. I'm, I'm sorry if I woke you up, but I really need to get this off my chest because I'm afraid if I don't say it tonight, I won't ever say it. I miss you. You know, you were my best friend. And then high school came and you all of a sudden became this cool kid and I just didn't and I just watched you from afar and I I don't want to be the girl who just watches you from a lunch table in the corner or just the girl you wave to in the halls because you know her from when you were a kid I and I don't just want to go back to being your best friend, either. What am I saying? <sighs> Fuck. I'm saying I think I'm in love with you. And I think I have been since we were kids. I mean, of course, I don't think it was love then. I just think those moments from when we were kids is what made me love you even more. And I know, I know this is shocking who comes through your window at two in the morning to confess she has feelings for you. It's really creepy, but I just, I couldn't not try, you know? You're amazing, <laughs> you know? I know we've both grown up and we've changed and you know I'm not saying that I know you like the back of my hand like I used to what I'm saying is that I want to I want to get to know you again I want to know you like the back of my hand just like I used to I don't just want to know what I can observe I want to know what makes you tick, what makes you laugh, what you smile about, what you dream about. I want to know what's going on in that head of yours when you're just staring blankly out the window. All I know now is when all of your friends leave, you pick up other people's trash at lunch. And if anyone needs help, you're the first one there. You don't have 
a bunch of friends, you just have a few really good friends who just happen to be popular. Your dad teaches history. I actually have him next term. Um, your mom teaches English. <laughs> you like football and baseball. You're best friends with Alex. <laughs> he, he's a really funny guy. I actually sat next to him in math last year. He's really funny, kind of a bit of a jerk sometimes, but you know, he has the right idea. And I remember your best subject was English and you didn't really do too well at math. You loved science and before you got into sports, you wanted to pursue a career in chemical engineering. But before that, you wanted to be a vet. <laughs> And before you wanted to be a vet, you wanted to be a pro skateboarder or a BMX biker. Biker? Rider? I don't know. I just remember you obsessed with anything that had wheels. I... I know this is really sudden. It's okay if you don't know what to say. I don't think I would really know what to say in this situation either if I was on the other side. But I just couldn't just lay in bed anymore. I had to try. Um, I'll give you some space to think. Um, I won't come to your window. Uh, you have my number. You can text me once you've thought of it. Okay. Okay. Thank you for listening. I will just get go. What? <sighs> yeah, purple is still my favorite color. <laughs> yes, the cellar is still my favorite book. <laughs> yeah. How do you remember all that? <laughs> um, I'm glad you still think of me. That actually makes me really happy. Okay, I will go. We can talk, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll sit, I'll sit. <laughs> yeah, my mom still asks about you. <laughs> she still wonders when you're coming over again. Oh, I just tell her that you're always busy. And she always cheers for you at the games. <laughs> uh, I think she misses when we were kids, you know? us running around during the barbecues. I also think she misses how close our families used to be. I mean, we're neighbors. We've known each other for forever. You know, the barbecues, I think, I think I remember our moms even talking about breaking down the middle fence and just having one giant backyard. That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like we weren't the only ones who grew apart. Our moms used to get our nails done. And our dads used to go do guy stuff together. I don't even know what they did. I know I'm not the only one who misses it. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm glad you miss it too. <laughs> now, I know that you said you remembered all that stuff, but uh, I, I need to know. Do you have any romantic feelings for me at all? Or have you ever? 
because if not, then I'll just drop it all. You know, I don't expect you to want to be with me. I just really need to know. <sighs> you do? <laughs> I really, really like you too. And I want to spend a long time really getting to know you. Although it doesn't really seem like much has changed. You are still <laughs> the big grinned boy I remember. <laughs> Except you don't play with Legos anymore. At least not that I can see. And your room is a lot cleaner from when we were 10. <laughs> I'm... I'm really... I'm really happy I came to your window tonight. Thanks for letting me in. Um... I'm really tired, I should probably get to bed, but we should totally finish this conversation another time, after school, maybe another night, just a little earlier. At school? You wanna be seen with me at school? No, no, I'd love to, it's just a little shocking. I just don't think I'd very much mesh well with your friends. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I will try to get along. I I will just be glad to be by your side. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Can I kiss your cheek? Bye.